Hey, good morning, everybody. Good to see you. It is Thursday, I believe. I believe it is. Anyway, welcome. And uh, I want to, I know we're getting quite a glare here. Here, hang on. There you go. All right. Anyway, it's Thursday, and I want to continue kind of where we left off um, in Matthew chapter 14. Okay? Matthew 14. I'm going to focus on verse 24, but let's back up to verse 22, okay? Here we go. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. And when evening came, he was there alone. Now, verse 24. But the boat was already a considerable distance from the land. Buffered by the waves because the wind was against it. Mm. I want to talk about those times where all we did was obey Jesus and the wind started to blow. Have you been there? Maybe you're there now. Those moments where we, we didn't rebel against Jesus, we didn't do anything wrong, we weren't trying to um, do things our way instead of his. We talked about that recently. All we did was obey him. Jesus told the disciples, guys, get in the boat, go to the other side. And as they're in the boat, the winds start blowing against them. Have you had a moment, or maybe you're there now, where you were doing your best to serve Jesus and the wind started blowing against you? The finances got bad. There was a relationship that fell apart. Your health got bad. Things at home didn't go well. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities, aren't there? I mean, that's probably going to vary between or among everybody who's watching this right now. And I just need to tell you that sometimes the wind's going to blow against us and it's not our fault. Things just happen. Difficult things happen to good people. And there's a bad teaching out there that seems to suggest that if there's something going wrong in your life, you must be at fault. You must not have enough faith. You must not be praying hard enough. You, must, you, you, you. And, and here's the deal. It's not about you. It's, it's what Jesus' plan is through this storm. When, when we read more about the story, we, we see that Jesus literally walks on water here. Jesus calms a storm down. One of the passengers in the boat actually walks on water with Jesus. I mean, but, but it all started with the winds blowing against the boat. What am I trying to say? Uh, Jesus is not going to waste your experience. He will use it and turn it around for your good and for his good. That's the way he is. If you're facing a battle of some sort and and you're wondering, oh, what good can come out of this? Trust me, there's a lot of good that can come out of it because it's being put in the hands of Jesus. And today, if you're struggling, today if the winds kind of, the the winds of difficulty and the winds of crisis and, and the winds of problems and issues that you're facing, if all that is blown against you, Jesus still has a plan. It doesn't mean that you have failed in some way. Just stay in the boat. Remind yourself that you are exactly where Jesus wants you to be. And he has a plan through this. So if you're struggling with the winds, please know that Jesus has a plan for you. Just wait and see. Trust him. Okay? I love you. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later.